Okay, inside the entryway where you would come in if you're just coming in, or you wouldn't actually come in at the ceremony this way, it's the main entrance. Walking in, you can see the hallway down there where the front desk is. And then straight ahead are three rooms that you have cocktails and such in, and then one of the three rooms is over there on the right is the bar, the permanent inside bar, and then the kitchen down at the end. So walking straight forward into the middle room, uh, this would be a room where you could have cocktails if we have an outside thing. And again, you can see the permanent bar room to the right. And going over to the left is another room that, uh, again, if you have to have cocktails inside, you'd have it there. So now we'll walk into the main room. And uh, that's also where you'd have the reception, or not the reception, the ceremony, if you had to have an indoor ceremony. So just in that room now, and kind of pan around on the left, you have kind of a, an area where you could put various things. And then it's set up with 10 tables right now, and a sweetheart table in the front. And you can kind of see that, and there's lots of windows. And then off to the right is where the outside ceremony will be held, uh, if you're going to have the outside ceremony. And then off to the right here, uh, you can see the kitchen entrance over there. And typically what they do is put the DJ or the band in this corner because it's a high traffic area because you have people coming out of the kitchen all the time, so you don't want to put tables over here. What they like to do with the tables is, as shown here, have them kind of more toward the outside. So you have this big uh, area here, and it's set up now for about 100 people. And what you would do, if you had more tables, you could put them out here. They would not have Christmas trees the time of year you're doing it. Um, and take a look outside. And again, to the right as you look out, uh, you can see uh, uh, an area where you'd have the ceremony. There's a little bit of grass you'd have to walk over. You can see the bridge in the background. There's a patio here, which is where you'd have outside cocktails. Even if you have an inside ceremony, if the weather is nice and you want to go outside, you can. And then looking over the bay, and you can see rocks over there. So you can have rocks in the background if you want, although you can also possibly see the no admittance beyond this point sign, so you're not actually allowed to go on the rocks because it's dangerous and as Elsa was saying, you probably don't want to be traipsing down there in a dress anyway. But there are rocks that you could have for the background or obviously lots of water. Uh, this is an example of a sweetheart table where you can have just a bride and groom at the table, but they'll set things up however you want. And then walking over, uh, what you can actually see is the upper patio, and this is where people come in when they're doing the ceremony, come in through that little gate, and then have cocktails and so on out here. You can see... Uh, Castle Hill over there, as well as Jamestown and lots of other things, uh, beaver tails off in that direction. And this is what uh, the tables actually look like, and I have pictures of those.